Welcome to part one of my four part series understanding different hair types. In this part we are going to be discussing hair type one. If you're new to my channel and if you're not welcome back I'm Mike. I'm who I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film we are talking about hair type. This is going to be my four part series talking about different hair types and in this part we are talking about hair type one. We're going to understand it we're going to describe it we're going to talk about different hair types what creates hair types and what is a hair type so if you want to find out more about hair types and type one hair then you better keep on watching What is the story everyone? In today's film we are talking about hair types and this film is dedicated to hair type one. Also, we're going to be discussing what creates a hair type and how our hair gets a different hair type. So in this film, we're talking about hair type one. Next one is going to be two, three, four, and so on. So you guys, let's get right into it. First of all, you guys, all hair types have the same internal structure of the hair. The cuticle and the cortex is exactly the same no matter what the hair type is. The hair type of our hair is determined by the angle of the hair bulb and the shape of the follicle. There are 12 major hair hair types which are number one to four and then you have three different sub types which are a b and c so you'd often see people referring to the hair as 3a or 2c or 4c etc etc so in this film i'm going to help you understand what is each hair type and Especially we're going to be talking about hair type 1 in this film. Also, everyone can have mixture of different hair types in their hair. So you could have, let's say, a 2C and let's say a 3B. Or you could have a 4B and a 4C. So your whole head of hair doesn't have to be one hair type. You can also have a mixture of hair types on your head. So you guys, let's start this off and let's talk about hair type one. Type one hair is your classic straight hair. This is the type of hair that doesn't move and it's just straight down. So if we see it, a representation of type one hair on the diagram, it would be a straight line. Type one hair can vary from thin to silky and thick to coarse. So just because you have type one hair straight doesn't mean your hair is gonna be automatically silky. It can also be quite thick and coarse. And that's what all the sub partitions of the type, so A, B and C will determine. Type one hair, also known as straight hair, is that type of hair that is mostly prone to oiliness. And why is that? Because like that, if you have straight hair or type one hair, your hair literally grows out of the bulb straight out. So the sebum and the oil from your scalp will travel down easily because there is no curves or waves in your hair. So that's why people with straight hair tend to have oilier hair so think of it this way if you've straight hair the oils from your scalp will literally just slide down if your hair is slightly thicker and wavier you'll probably get longer out of your hair because it's harder for the sebum and the oil and the sweat to actually travel down the hair shaft type one hair is probably the hardest hair to style because like that the nature of the hair is so straight and so smooth that it's very hard to add any movement or curl to it but also type one hair would be least prone to dryness because the cuticle is so soft and so smooth that the hair will not be porous a lot of people argue that there's no different types of straight hair but mdc says different and that will all depend of the thickness and the texture of the natural hair so you guys let's talk about different types of type 1 hair type 1a so when we're thinking about the subfamilies of types of hair when we're thinking of 1a this is probably your flattest thinnest and shiniest hair so there is absolutely no movement to it is just silky that hair will not move and it will just sit as flat to your head as possible this is probably the most difficult type of hair to style and work with because it will be very hard to either blow dry it curly blow dry it wavy curl it or tongue it because the hair is so straight and so smooth and so flat that it'll be nearly impossible to add any body to it any curl 
or any movement. Type 1B. Type 1B would be your very, very super straight hair. This type of hair might have a bend, but when I'm talking about a bend, it's literally a bend. It's not a curl, it's not a wave, it's not a movement, it's literally a bend. So if you can see in my hair, my hair is type 1, but there is definitely a bend. I wouldn't call it a curl or anything, but there is definitely a soft bend to it. In type 1B hair, you would definitely notice some coarser strands. So this is hair that would be a bit coarser to your type 1A and it would get slightly bit drier. So if you have type 1B hair, your hair is mainly straight, but like that you can notice bit more coarseness to it so the hair might puff out just a tiny bit. Type 1C. When we're thinking about type 1C this would be straight hair that is a lot coarser and thicker which means this type of hair would be more prone to frizz. So this is that type of straight hair that think of this person that it nearly sits like a triangle. It's straight but it's also poofy and coarse at the same time. So even though you have straight hair you might have a lot more coarser strands in it. This is the type of hair that will be probably easier to manage and maneuver comparing to like your type 1A and 1B. So type C would have a bit more coarseness that would help the hair nearly to add a bit more movement if you manipulated it. Right you guys, so when it comes to type 1 hair, type 1 hair is your classic straight head of hair. This is hair that has absolutely no movement and the different subcategories of type 1 hair is 1A which is absolutely the flattest, the thinnest hair that will just not move. You won't be able to add body and it will just sit really really flat to your head. Then we have type 1B. This is the type of hair that might have a bend. But when I, say, when I say a bend, I nearly say a movement and you will notice a bit more coarseness to it, a bit more texture, but it is still very flat and straight. And then we have 1C, which is straight hair that will be a lot thicker and coarser. So when it comes to type 1 hair and we're thinking of A, B and C, those are really your subfamilies that represent the thickness and the coarseness of the hair. In the next film, we are going to be talking about type 2 hair, which is wavy. We're going to discover it talk in depth about different types of wavy hair and how to recognize wavy hair so you guys if you're interested in this stay tuned anyways guys thank you for watching today's film i hope you found this film rather interesting helpful and useful please like share comment and subscribe to my channel also check out my other social media and of course you guys please 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 do what do take care bye